On page 533, it says, the inventory of a business is the items that it has in stock. Records of the items on hand in stock may be kept either on a computer or inventory cards. To determine the inventory, you start with the previous inventory. The number of the incoming items, called receipts, is added to the previous inventory. The number of the outgoing items, called issues, is subtracted from the previous inventory. And there are companies that come in and do this automatically or periodically throughout the year for you, too. When I worked at Sears, they used to always have at least one time a year a company will come through and physically count everything that you had and then update the computer system. Okay, nothing's more uh, frustrating, as, especially as a consumer or as a customer, when you look online and it says they have 20 of them and you go there and like, we don't have any because their numbers are off. Right? And that's one thing that, especially on websites, when you look at, <clears throat> when you go shopping on there, if it says they have it in stock, chances are it might not be in stock. Okay, so you got to be, they have a little disclaimer at the bottom too for that. Okay, but anytime you bring something in that's a receipt or like you received it, and anytime you give something out, you've given it out or issued it, like if you have any issues. Okay, which the inventory record also indicates the stock reorder point. This is the minimum level of inventory needed to meet the customer demand. When the inventory falls below the stock reorder point, the new order must be placed. So for instance, if I'm dealing with one of the things that I do on the side a lot of times is I will make uh, like coat racks. And I use a specific hook that I always have to gear that I use at Menards. Seems like every time I go there, they're always out. But online, it says they have 20. That's what their number says, even though they always seem like they're out. So then I either have to order them online or I have to just wait till they get them and have to tell them you're out of this one again, okay? So when you get to a certain level, once it gets below a certain number, then usually there's an automatic system that should reorder it for them. They should have so many on hand usually. That's what they're referring to. As far as your formula goes, it says your inventory is going to equal your previous inventory. plus any receipts and receipts if you want to think of the word received like you brought it in that's kind of the same thing minus any issues or anything that you gave out that's the formula today so if you look at number one on the middle of page 534 it says in January the opening balance was $300 or 300, not dollars, 300. The units in was 120, and the units out was 150. So what's the number on hand? What is 300 plus 120 minus 150? Number two, in February, you start over at, now you have 270, you brought in 80, but you gave out 140. So what is 270 plus 80 minus 140? 210. 210. Now, here's where I hope you guys understood what happened. This is a certain individual's or a certain company's inventory. And it started here with January, then it went to February. This number here matches this number here. At the end of January should be the amount that you start with at the beginning of February, right? So for number three, part A for March, what number should you start with? 210. 210. Then it says that we brought in 120, <laughs> bless you, and we're subtracting out 100. We have issues. So what's 210 plus 120 minus 100? 230. Then it goes on to April. How much do you start with in April then? 230. And it said that we brought in zero. And we sold 80. 
So how much do we have on hand right now? Huh? I'm just January, February, March, April. That's what the letters are for. So what's B? 150. Now, as far as number five go, the question says, when did the inventory fall below the reorder point? Does it give you the reorder point in the chart? 275. Gavin, did our number ever fall below 275? Yeah, what month? Or months? All of them did, right? Every month. That was below the number of 275. So as far as if it was an automatic thing, automatically it should be reordering it every month to try to get it up to that 275. Now, what is it that we have 300 or 150 or 270 of these things? Who knows? For all we know, if I'm at Menards, that could be two by fours. Could be whatever, okay? So that it could be if you're working at Subway. Could be loaves of bread. Who knows? Okay? It didn't say that. But as far as number five go, when did the inventory fall below the reorder point? Every month. Or if you list out the months individually, that's fine too. So what do you think? Easy. Not too terrible? Okay. Again, anytime it says receipts, that's when you bring something in or you receive it, so that's an adding. And anytime it says that you have any issues, that's when you are subtracting it, okay?